if you feel threatened, yep. you can defend yourself. What is this song? Uh, In today's explosive expose, we're ripping the veil off the unholy alliance between the Chicago Police Department and Scientology, a duo that bends the law to silence dissent. Armed with nothing but my camera and my unyielding dedication to the First Amendment, I've been on the front lines exposing this dangerous collusion. Despite repeated warnings from the CPD claiming my actions could be perceived as assaultive for merely filming, I've stood my ground. My commitment? To maintain a respectful distance while capturing how these so-called church members distribute their deceitful literature. And every time they do, I'm right there. Not to confront, but to enlighten. When an unsuspecting citizen is handed this propaganda, I'm the whisper of truth, alerting them to the web they've just been caught in. Now, let's set the stage for what's really happening on these streets. Scientology employs body routers, foot soldiers in a covert operation to ensnare everyday people into their testing centers under the guise of harmless interaction. These operatives swarm our neighborhoods, their hands filled with invitations to indoctrination. But here I am, not just a watchdog, but a guardian. While they exercise their right to spread their literature, I exercise mine even more fiercely. I inform. I educate, and I shield my community from their tactics. This isn't just a battle over beliefs. It's a fight for the very soul of our neighborhood. Let's start with a montage of how much space I give the body routers, as well as my verbalizing They're such a cult. intent. It's the cult of Scientology. <laughs> I know. It's the cult of Scientology. That's Scientology. You don't want that. They won't tell you they're Scientology, but they are Scientology. <laughs> uh, and everybody, uh, I'm going to keep saying, I'm keeping a very respectful distance. Uh, I, won't, I won't approach them quickly. Um, they have every right to hand things out. I have every right to share information I understand about that organization. Um, I just want to keep on reiterating, I'm keeping a very safe distance. Uh, I am not approaching them. I'm not encroaching upon them. Uh, hey, police, when you watch the video, please, please realize I've kept a respectful di distance. I am only exercising my First Amendment right, just as they have a First Amendment right to advertise their church, which, by the way, they're hiding the idea that they're advertising their church. I just want to be able to give people additional information as they're handed these flyers. Please don't block the sidewalk. Let the people come through. It's a cult. It's a cult. That's una secta. It's Scientology. They won't tell you it's Scientology, but it's Scientology. <laughs> Can, may I have it? Because you don't want this. So, <laughs> thank you so much. And they used to have a copyright in the bottom corner. And, uh... I don't do this. Very well. Understand that? And and what's what's illegal about that? One hundred percent. One of them. And you'll notice that I keep on saying on here, hey, police, when you review this, you'll notice that I'm staying 20 feet behind these people. So they have a First Amendment right to pass out their flyers. I have a First Amendment right to tell everybody the information they're doing. So. See how long. Oh, but I'm still here. Darn it. <laughs> You're okay working for an organization that won't let women report crimes and sexual abuse? Yeah, you can hand out as many as you want, but I'm going to inform everybody that you're doing it. And stay in there. Don't come out.
uh, just for fun. Let's see if they do the trick of, we'll go around back. Hi. You guys think you're clever. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> I'm one person boxing them in. Most of it is on uh, a similar beat mechanism, so it's 42 count blues, more often than not. Uh, so since you know the rules, you can syncopate all you want, and it's so fun to watch musicians play with one another. Uh, in my younger days, I used to work on Michigan Avenue, and one of the things that we would do is I would come down here at lunchtime and just walk in, and they'd just be going through the jam sessions. So some of the cool stuff. Still tickled that they tried to run on there. Don't worry, nobody else is getting gains either. I'm crushing everybody's stats. If you can't get them in there, they can't convert them. We can help you out anytime you want out. The next time you're on Google, look up Lisa McPherson. It's a cult. It's the cult of Scientology. They're going to make you spend money. They're going to come in and give you a personality test. And then they're going to tell you these little nickly, nickly dime things that are wrong with you and make you buy a book. So if, do you want that? Thank you. Do you want yours? <laughs> Thank you. I like to bring it back to him. So again, if you ever look it up, Scientology, it's absolutely called. There are so many crimes. Danny Masterson, Lisa McPherson, look up any of those crimes. So I think I'm going to get the most tickets this week. And again, I hope everybody sees that I'm keeping a very, very large distance. He's passing out flyers from the Church of Scientology trying to get people involved in his cult. So that's why he's being followed. Okay. <laughs> Did you notice that he just tried to enlist one of the citizens of the, of the community? <laughs> no, he just said he would like to get Yeah. Because <laughs> he's doing something wrong. <laughs> okay. I don't know if you guys heard this, but uh, he told the other passerby that I was following him. And again, I hope you all see I'm a very respectful different distance away. You notice how he waved me on? Imagine this. It's the early hours of a crisp Sunday morning, May 5th. How are you doing? The city is just waking up. Are you mocking me? And there I am, arriving at the imposing gates Absolutely. of Scientology's ideal orb. No, I'm not a child. In Chicago's historic printer's yes, row. Yes, it's being video recorded right My there mission? as well. My mission? To lay down a message. Is there anything in the truth in chalk in before the day's hustle and bustle could erase it. Are you going to it. Sub subvert I my First Amendment right? I chose this time deliberately before the sun pulled the crowds onto the streets, before anyone could claim I was obstructing the path. My plan was simple and respectful, to sketch out the facts in bold, unmissable letters on the pavement, it's not a ensuring church, it's a not cult, a single pedestrian would have to sidestep the truth, or quite literally, me. 
So but even in this like careful art. planning, what unfolded next was baffling. They believe in Here space I was, fantasy. Giving this so cult we're all prisoners the space of this planet. World, 76 trillion years ago, that's my bad, thank you. Yet, 76 what trillion came years next ago, from the Zenu Chicago captured police all of us was nothing and short us of bewildering. Planet. Their approach? Surprisingly confrontational. A stark contrast to the solitude and peace of that and early I'm gonna morning. Reach off. It was as if drawing lines of truth was drawing lines in the sand. A challenge I hadn't anticipated, but was fully prepared to face. Join me as we dive into this startling yep. encounter, a moment that reveals more than just chalk lines, a snapshot of the ongoing struggle for freedom of speech right here in the heart of our city. I fully agree with that. When you come within someone's personal space and close, they can feel threatened. Yep. They can't defend themselves. I understand that. So I just wanted, I'm not saying you were involved in any way or have any knowledge of it. But I like that you're encouraging physical violence as an element. Well, no, I'm saying that if someone feels threatened, right. they have a legal justification to defend themselves. Correct. You do, as well as anybody Couldn't else. Couldn't I right now claim that I feel threatened? Couldn't I claim that and just strike you? Because now you're saying that my feelings are what matters. My no, feelings. No, no, they put it on tape. Okay. When someone feels threatened, yep. and you are in addition within their personal space, I understand that. That totality of circumstances. That makes sense. Can raise to a level where that person is legally allowed to defend themselves. That makes sense. Push a threat away. Correct. A perceived threat. Yep. Likewise, you have the same thing. Understood. Okay. I am advising. That is all. I appreciate I'm not it. Yep. You've done any of this. I don't. I'm referring to someone. That was I, I, I saw the. I saw the video. I saw the video. They're, they also have videos. So yes, they do. So <laughs> I'm just trying to advise. I appreciate that. that. You're aware that people have personal space yep. and they're allowed to defend yep. that personal space if they feel threatened. Yep. Let's listen to that one more time. When someone feels threatened, yep, and you are in addition within their personal space. I understand that. That totality of circumstances. That makes sense. Can raise to a level where that person is legally allowed to defend themselves. That makes sense. Push a threat away. Correct. A perceived threat. Yep. Likewise, you have the same thing. Understood. Picture this. A battle of wills on the urban battlefield of Chicago's streets. The day had barely begun when the first wave of blue uniforms approached us, not once, but three times, each visit more charged than the last. First they came with a warning, armed with a hastily revisited city ordinance in hand. They claimed we were marking the sidewalk, a minor act of defiance in their eyes, yet a monumental expression of truth in ours. Undeterred, we adapted, switching chalk for tape, attaching our signs directly onto the concrete canvas of Printer's Row. But freedom, it seems, was on a tight leash. Within mere minutes, the police were back, this time declaring even our taped signs illegal. The rapid response was uncanny. Every call from Scientology summoning the CPD like a genie from a lamp. The message was clear. In this city, some voices are amplified while others are silenced. The crescendo of this orchestrated oppression came when I was threatened by a member of the church, a stark escalation from bureaucratic harassment to outright violence. Each police visit, each confrontation, served as a stark reminder. The CPD, it appears, was not just a protector of peace, but a pawn in Scientology's game of control. A member of the church is about to approach me. We have three angles of this encounter. The left view is my camera. The top right view is free Xenu project, and you'll want to look at the mirror to see the member continually invade my space. The bottom right is Corn Freak DBSC, and she captures the woman approaching and makes three steps toward me as I retreat from the threat. After showing the composite, I'll break down each view to point out the aggression of this agent of the church. They were, they were either unalive themselves or were unalive. That's how the And it keeps growing. It keeps growing. These are all the only the ones that have been submitted. Yeah, so I, we're gonna put this up at work too. 
Awesome. You're awesome. Ever since we met you on the yeah. opening day, you've been right in there. So, and this is your home. This is your home. So. Very nice to be here, and I am excited to be leaving this apartment building. But I'm still working in this neighborhood. I right. Like that 22 bus all the time. Like yeah. I'm in the front of this church, and I always have to look at it. This is my. No. And the phone just fell. Well, she's in my space. If she's in my space. 911. Let's call 911. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. They are. At no point was I anywhere near you. So here's a woman telling me, please don't come to me. This is assault. This is assault. When she's in my space, my space. 911. Let's call 911. And it keeps growing. These are all the only the ones that are Yeah, no, I we're gonna put this in the work too. Awesome. Yeah. You're awesome. Ever since we met you on the yeah. opening day, you've been right in there. So and this is your home. This is your home. So I'm very good. Excited to leave this apartment building. Yeah. I'm still working in this neighborhood. I yeah. still go to school here. Yeah. I'm still here every day. At least you know, and he says they were they were they either unalive themselves or were unalive. Um, that's how the clock is set. And it keeps growing. It keeps growing. These are all the only the ones that have been submitted. Yeah, so we're gonna put the specific work too. Awesome. awesome. Oh yeah. You're awesome. Ever since we met you on the yeah. opening day, you've been right in there. So and this is your home. This is your home. So very nice to be here and I am excited to be leaving this apartment building, but I'm still working in this neighborhood. I right. Like that 22 bus all the time. Yeah. I'm in the front of this church and I always have to look at it. This is mine. No. She's in my space. If she's in my space. 911. Let's call 911. Hey. Let's rewatch the composite in slow motion. At this point, the police have been called. A few hours later. I called for an assault. If you can come and help me, please. Paul? 
I'm the one, the victim in this situation. I appreciate uh, what's that. What's going on today? So earlier today, and I think you were out here as as well. No, no, oh, okay. I'm sorry, Mike. So yeah, please don't put that on. Nope, no problem. I I pre okay. sorry. I apologize. Um, so the activity that occurred. What activity occurred? A woman came out of this church. Okay. Came up to me and put her camera in my face. Okay. To to re to give me some recording. I don't know what it was. Okay. I backed away. I said, please don't do that. She moved forward, put her camera beyond my camera. Which the officer earlier today told well, me that that's assault. About this? Oh. I've called 90 minutes ago okay. on this process. Okay. Um, the officer on scene no, you're the first who in 90 minutes. You just said an officer was already here, though. Uh, at nine o'clock this morning, okay. we put chalk down. Okay. The officer was here in five minutes. Okay. So it took 90 minutes to come here for an assault. Okay. It took five minutes to get here for chalk. Okay. That seems wrong. Nonetheless, well, that's a, that's a I understand. That has nothing to do with yep. yeah. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a crime thing. We just started. We okay, just started. I understand. I can't respond 90 minutes ago if I didn't start 90 minutes yep. ago. Yep. So the a woman came and put her hand past my camera. I backed away. Left behind you. I don't want to hear Thank you. Around. Thank you. I backed away okay. and said, please be quiet. I, I'm, I'm, yep. So um, that I was told earlier that if I did that to somebody, I would have been arrested for assault. Okay. And if you're going to arrest me for assault, I want her arrested for assault right now. Okay. She walked into that building when she knew I was calling the police. Another agent from this cult came out and walked her away. So I also want to know why he was trying to aid in the flight of this person. And then when I backed away and she approached me further, I was under threat. She was trying to stalk me. What? You had your phone as well? Do you believe she thought that maybe you were trying to stalk her? She walked up to me. Question, no, okay? she walked up to me. For what reason do you think? Because she wanted to give me, she wanted to show whatever recording was on her phone yeah. to me. Okay. Right? I, I'm not in her mind. I will just tell you that the officer you, that was you, here. You, you were standing out here the whole time? I've been here for nine hours. Right. Uh, what, what, what were you guys doing? So I, can I don't like child trafficking cults. Okay, fair enough. Okay, and then she steps out trying to show you a phone. Uh, she tried to play a recording for me. And I said, I don't know, don't care. You said a recording? A recording, okay. a recording. She tried to play a recording for me. I backed away. Okay. She moved forward and put the phone in my what face, past my camera. She, she can't speak English. So what she, what she, she was just putting a phone? What did you say when she was trying to put a phone? I said, please don't. I then said, I am in fear of my life. Please move. Backed away. She moved English forward again. You didn't understand your request to pass. That, no. <laughs> I, nope. You know what I, mean, all right? I hear what you're saying. Uh, no, we're you're not, not writing this off. I'm pressing charges. I'm pressing charges, period. I'm pressing charges. You. Correct. You know why English. I thought that? You know why I thought that? She didn't speak English. You didn't understand her. But when you told her something, you expected her to understand you? You see what I'm saying? Well, I would say this. If I back away and you okay. approach me again, whether or not you understand me or not, my backing away is my retreating and saying, get away from me. That's your assumption. Correct? Listen, you don't, I don't, don't care how you want to spin this. No, I don't, I don't care not, how you want to spin this. If I did this, where would I be right now? What does that mean? What you know that I would be in that fucking coffin. Right. You guys are so much in their pockets right now. Pockets, pockets. And I'm going to tell you that the reason that I did what I did this afternoon yeah. is because your sergeant or lieutenant was out here this morning and told me if I put my camera in somebody's I'm gonna, face. I'm going to correct you right there. I'm going to have you not do that because a we sergeant, just started. Okay, there you go. A sergeant we just or started, lieutenant. So you cannot put words Will you correct our yourself? or our, <laughs> okay. our ranks. When we just started our tour, we literally mm -hmm. just started the day. I don't know why you keep referencing 90 minutes ago, this, this, this. 9 a.m. You said 90 minutes ago, though, Yes, right? 90 minutes okay, ago, well, I made I a call. We just started. It, it took 90 okay. minutes to get so out like here? I, like I said, that's 
a whole different topic that we can talk about when it's another yep. time, another day. That has nothing to do with what we're talking about right now. So what would you like from us? I want to report on this person. And I also okay. want to know what we can do about the person I that tried to make... What I can give you is we can try to give you a report for a non-criminal person that occurred. I Why is it non-criminal? How am I going to give you a report for assault if... Well, you get what I'm saying? Like if if I show you video me, of what she did... What you're also telling my partner is... Show see, me the video. Okay, this is not, yeah. If you show me a video and I, and I, and I see that there's a crime... And it's, a, and it's uh, uh, categorized as maybe an assault. All right. Yeah, I'll give you a Come a little bit closer now. I have to turn my stream off because I'm going to have to show my, my video. Is there me on Twitch or... Sure. If I see a crime, an assault, assault is a verbal, right? Uh, yeah. Assault is an action. Receiving assault it can be an action, it can be verbal. It's in, it's in fear of receiving a battery. You know what that means? Yes. Right? You're in fear of her actually being uh, you receiving physical contact. Can you raise it? Mm -hmm. Yep. I mean, replay it. I have to wait until it goes through. No, I think you'd be excited, no? Uh, thank you. Can you hear me saying, please let me know. She's walking forward. I can't hear anything. She's just talking over. She's just standing there. She hasn't stepped. Are you kidding me? I'm retreating. Does anybody else have it on film? Yeah. All right, guys. I'm going to have to go. I'm going to find it. Actually, you can hold this because I can find it on my other yes, on my other phone. Can you see that car go back? Up that car is not driving. That car is not driving. That car is parked right there. The black car is parked. You guys like crazy. Okay, so I'll give you a knife. You have your ID? Absolute bullshit. And I know what that is, you guys. Uh, please don't use both of them. I understand my own camera. I have a right to regress my government in any way I feel. Okay, perfectly fine. I just asked you to be polite. So. Huh? The police were uninterested in pursuing a criminal complaint against a person who stalked and assaulted me. This incident concluded with a non criminal complaint. In a city as vast and diverse as Chicago, the expectation is that justice and service are blind to influence and bias. Yet the experiences I've recounted paint a starkly different picture, one where the scales of service are tipped not by the severity of the call, but by the caller's identity. The Chicago Police Department's swift mobilization in response to complaints from the Church of Scientology over something as benign as chalk art contrasts sharply with their sluggish and indifferent reaction to actual harassment faced by a protester. This disparity is not just a failure to serve, it's a silent statement about priorities and privileges. When law enforcement responds with vigor to the powerful while dragging their feet with the vulnerable, it erodes trust and fosters a sense of injustice. It becomes clear that in the eyes of those sworn to protect and serve, some voices are amplified while others are muted. This isn't merely about slow responses or preferential treatment. It's about the fundamental expectations we place on our public institutions and the profound need for accountability and reform. If our protectors serve the interests of a few, who then truly is being protected? 